I'm with the suspect on the high street at the green. I've got a female buyer, early 20s, five foot five, dark hair, mixed race. Requesting backup, please. Is this game's no joy, dear? No. <laughs> Honestly. Why? She was a demon for games back home. Yeah, we used to play them all the time, you know. We'd play Risk and Monopoly mm. and Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, it's cards against humanity. <laughs> You're kidding. That's a game. Mum loves it. It's a bit radical for her, isn't it? Not really. She's full of surprises these days. Oh, well, good for her. Podrick still looks pissed. Oh, he would. He got so carried away playing it one night, the neighbours called the guards. My dad was not happy. Uh, well, he's not big on the cops. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Hey, hands up, really. I've done nothing. What's wrong with you? It's OK. You're not in any trouble. I just need to know... Who gave you this? What? This bag, you were holding it. I was? He gave them to her. I never. Yes, you did, when he saw the police. That's a lie. She did it. She's trying to set me up. Look, I've done nothing. What are you arresting me for? Think carefully. Did someone put this in your hands? What? This bag. I don't know. Can you remember anything? S -s someone bumped into me. A, a man, I think, and uh, there was a girl, a young girl, and she tried to stop him. Uh, and did the man give you this? Where am I? Who are you? I've told you. I'm a police officer. I don't know you. There's nothing to worry about, but I am going to take you down the station just to make sure that you're all right, OK? Come on. So we don't have to be at Harley Street till Monday morning, which leaves the whole weekend for treats. Treats? Yeah. I thought about what you said, so I went ahead and booked a few things. Booked what? Well, the London Eye, for starters. This thing here goes way up in the air over London. 443 feet. Wow. Yeah. It's higher than our house. It's just a Ferris wheel. And then on Saturday afternoon, we're going to go in that bus there, which goes in the water. Wow. Wow. Well, because it's a very special bus, thank you very much for asking. But the real treat, the real treat is Sunday morning when we are going to see real, live dinosaurs at the Natural History Museum. They're not real, Daniel. Don't lie to him. Got a little treat for me and Mummy, too. What, bumper cars? No, the uh, hotel has a babysitting service, which I have booked for Saturday night. I've also booked a table for two at a very romantic restaurant. Great. After that, we could go clubbing. You've made me feel really welcome here. Thanks. Well, anyone who offers to mow my lawn is welcome any time. Ah, well, look like you needed a court. <laughs> I just do it once a year, whether it needs it or not. <laughs> it's great to be here. I really miss Neve. I'm sure she's missed you, too. Can't believe how relaxed she's been about the whole coming out thing. Oh, you came out? Yeah, yesterday. I didn't realise. I wasn't sure how Neve would take her. Funny, she, um, she didn't mention it. I guess she's that relaxed about it, she didn't think it's worth mentioning. <laughs> how cool is that? Pretty cool. Doris, this is Dr Clay. Who? I just want to take a quick look at you, make sure you're OK. She was complaining about pains in her legs and her arms. Bad pains? Pains? Her memory isn't great, and she mentioned headaches. I want to go home. Thanks. Yeah, we'll get you home, as soon as we can. After you've seen the doctor. Sounds like... Uh, you're hitting yourself. You're a boxer. <laughs> Dizzy. Dazed. 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 Lots and lots of days. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's very sweet. It's three words! No talking! Oh. You're angry. Dog days angry. <laughs> My life I think she fancies him. Dog days. Aisha. Yeah. He's going to break a few hearts before he finds the right girl. How long have you had the muscle pain? Well, they rest the girl. I have no idea. 
wasn't her fault. It was that boy. You remember what happened? He was bothering her. She wanted him to go away. What did he do to her? Who? The boy. He tried to give her something, I think. And the police came. Do you remember how you got to the shopping centre? She seemed so sweet. I'm sure she wouldn't do anything wrong. Is that where the pain is, on the side? What? It's itchy. Mm. You get tired easily. Sometimes. Any nausea, loss of appetite? Why do you want to know? Who are you? I'm a doctor. I'm trying to find out what's wrong with you. I want to go home. Aisha, can I ask you something? When you had lunch with Sean yesterday, did he tell you he was gay? Yeah. Was Neve there? Right next to him, why? I don't think she knows. Oh, come on. She has to. Oh, well, what, what exactly did he say? I can't remember, but it was pretty obvious. Not to her. You really think she doesn't know? Apparently not. You got no right to hold me. Emily Cruz says that you were trying to sell her heroin. Supplying a Class A drug could mean a very long sentence. She was the one who wanted to sell to me. It's not how I saw it. <laughs> you think I'm a drug dealer just because I'm black, don't you? Hmm. No. You're a racist. How could have you done? For what? Being a racist. Except I saw you take money from several people and give them packages which looked very much like drugs. You can't prove it. It'll be on CCTV. They were mates. They owe me money. For what? Look, I don't do drugs. I never have. Maybe not, but do you sell them? Definitely not. So she just asked you right out of the blue? Yeah, cos I'm black. She's a racist too. And is that why you followed her? I didn't. Again, I saw you. And again, it'll be on CCTV and you were with her when we stopped you. OK. Yeah, I went with her. I was curious. I've never seen drugs before. She said someone had a stash, and that's when I saw the old lady. You were saying a 70-year-old lady was holding the stash? You know what I think? They were setting me up. It's like I can't breathe and I feel dizzy. I just tried to calm down. I've never been arrested before. No, everyone gets nervous in a place like this. I, I, I was trying to buy drugs, but not for me. It was... For a friend, he's got a record and... Just, just, just breathe normally. He told me where to find the dealer. OK, look, you're probably just having a panic attack, so you need to stop talking, concentrating your breathing for me. I knew it was wrong. That's, that's why I lost my nerve and that's why the guy got so angry and then the police turned up and he shoved the drugs in the old lady's hands and... I... Emily, you need to listen to me. <sighs> what happened to her? Is she all right? Don't worry about the old lady, she's probably going to be fine, OK? But you need to concentrate on you, so just breathe slowly for me. In. Out. Bend. Twist. Pump. Crack. C crack. Split. Break. 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 Oh. Break. Uh, break. 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 Ah. Uh, You're giving away the answer and it's not your turn. <laughs> that wasn't one of the clues. I've never heard of yours, so I just made one up. Huh. Interesting choice. I can't believe I didn't get that. I know. How much more obvious did you want me to be? <laughs> Why did you keep pointing at Sean? Bit of a dead giveaway, that. <laughs> Why? Because you're a girl, boy. Neve! <laughs> no, because I'm... You know. Did you really think that we were going to somehow forget about these? That's not me. Are you stupid? Same name, same address, same fingerprints. Two convictions for possession, one for supplying. And you want me to really believe that you weren't selling drugs? OK. I was lying. The stuff was mine, but it was for personal use. I don't sell anymore. So why did you take the money off Emily Cruz? I didn't. I saw you. I was going to give it back. I was just wanting to see if she was for real. You took her money, but you was going to give it her back. I was going to give her some of my stuff for free. 
And are you in the habit of giving heroin away? But then I sussed it was a setup when she asked the old lady to check it out. She asked the old lady to check the heroin? Those two are definitely drug squad. And that makes me a victim of Chapman. You can't do anything to me. Why did you tell them before me? I told you yesterday, at lunch. He did. You never said you were gay. Yes, I did. Maybe you didn't actually use the word gay, but it was pretty clear. Not to me. Well, what did you think he was talking about? I don't know. She always been this thick. Are you really gay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I mean... Maybe it's just, you know, a phase. Are you serious? People experiment. It doesn't mean that they're actually... Not a phase. Are you actually seeing someone? Oh, I mean... OK, that's a bit private for me. OK, time to wash up. Oh, sorry. He's a very excited boy. Great. Why are you in such a mood? The point of this trip is to see a paediatrician, to try and get to the bottom of all of Joe's problems. It's not an all-singing, all-dancing family weekend out. You know what? Um, yesterday, you had a go at me for not booking anything. For not booking a hotel? And today, you're having a go at me because I've booked too much. You're undermining me, Daniel. Again. I'm really not. We need to spend just a couple of minutes speaking to the silly old doctor. A couple of minutes! OK. I thought it would be a good idea to distract Joe. What, by pretending that nothing is happening? No. But if we get him excited, stimulate his imagination... Oh, so he'd have to face up to... He wouldn't end up dreading the trip. And he won't have nightmares, and he might actually be in a positive frame of mind when he gets to meet the specialist. But... Clearly I'm wrong. I'm always wrong. Oh, don't twist this, Daniel. I can't even remember if she's got a GP. You didn't find anything. Medical card, NHS number. It's just what's there. Would you help if I could talk to a doctor? Could she be undercover? According to the lad, they're both working for the drug squad. But he's a terrible liar. In fact, he isn't in class of his own. Everyone I know is a liar. What? Everyone I know is a liar. Well, oh, thanks. A bit harsh, isn't it? Nope. I think someone's been through that bag, you know. There's nothing there. It has to be. Anyway, social services have been called and someone's talking to, to her neighbours. Somebody must be looking after her. Hmm. Someone is. Everyone's a liar. Are you all right? Yeah. It's just a lot to take in, you know, and it's really embarrassing. What, me being gay? No! 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 Me being so stupid. Everyone else knew what you were talking about except me, and it doesn't make me much of a sister. You're a brilliant sister. No. I... That's why I want to tell you first. I probably wasn't very clear, but it's still not easy for me to talk about it. I wish I'd known earlier. <laughs> I thought you always knew. <laughs> I'm really glad you told me. And I think it's brilliant, you know, and you seem so confident and, and relaxed about it. No, I'm not really. I'm terrified of telling Mum and Dad. Oh, they'll be all right. I'm not sure. Well, why don't you tell Dara first? Because they usually listen to him. Well, I tried before I came here, but the words wouldn't come out. I just... I couldn't. Uh, Maeve, what if they never speak to me again? She's my grandmother. So when you told the doctor that you were buying drugs for a friend... Yeah, it was for me. I was lying. Thought so. I look after my grandmother. That's all I do. I have no job, no friends. There's nothing else in my life. I get depressed. You think drugs are going to help? Someone told me a bit of heroin will take the edge off. He'll do a lot more than that. 
I only wanted to try it. Why was your grandmother with you? She just turned up. She found out what I was doing. How? I'm not a very good liar. How did she know where you were? Oh, well, she can be pretty capable when she wants to be. She was trying to stop me from going through with it when your lot turned up. And that's why she had the heroin? Look, you, you have to let her go, please. It might take a while. But... They'll get over it, you know? What I did was so much worse. I guess. When I went to the police, I thought they would never speak to me again. <laughs> they did take it pretty badly. Yeah, and it'll take a while for them to, to work through it. But in the end, family's more important to them than anything else. I don't know. Well, deep down, they still love me, you know, and they always will. And deep down, they'll always love you, no matter what. I really want to believe that, but it's such a risk. Not as much as you think. I don't know what to think anymore. Not after what happened with you. What do you mean? Like, I always thought there was nothing that you could do that they wouldn't forgive. Oh, well, of course they'll forgive me. I mean, the fact that you're here, you know, means that Mum is reaching out. And if she can do that with me, then she'll accept you, whatever you are. Oi. Emily's lying. I'm sorry? The heroin was for me. Your granddaughter was buying heroin for you? She wouldn't let me go on my own. I'm not surprised. Don't know why not. There's nothing wrong with me. Well, actually, I suspect there's quite a lot wrong with you. That's why I'd like to take your blood pressure. It's high, OK? I've got angina. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to hospital. I see your memory's improved. I was faking that, idiot. Mrs Whiting, I can understand that you want to protect your granddaughter, but it, it's really not helping. She's got a drug problem, she needs treatment. This could be the shock that helps her. Getting busted never helped anyone. I should know. The smack was for me. Nice try, but I don't believe that you just popped down to the shopping centre to get a bit of heroin. What do you think that is, then, clever clogs? I've seen trap marks before. So, here's all your research notes and conclusions. I've read it all and I've added some ideas of my own. You did? Yeah. Just because I don't panic like some others might doesn't mean I don't care. Although I'm not prepared to do everything it'll take to help Joe. Oh. So, uh, also, here's a list of questions I've written for the specialist. Have a look. If you think I'm missing anything, then. No. It is all here. Good. Now, just so you know, whatever the specialist says, we are strong enough to get through this. Really? Yes. I think I've got the energy. Oh, come on. Sorry, I've got to take this. You're just saying that because you're losing. Hi, hey, Mum. Is that Mum? Shh. What? No, I'm staying in the mate's place. Let me talk to her. No, there's, there's nobody. Just, just the mate's girlfriend. Been an addict for 45 years. My methadone script was stopped when I told some snotty-nosed drug worker where to go. Are you sure? He was as bad as you. That's why I'm buying gear on the street. Isn't that a bit risky? Especially at your age. I've had more dealers than you've had old dinners, sunshine. But why was your granddaughter with you? She was looking after me. I forget things. I wasn't totally faking that. It's a side effect of Vepsi. I've had it for years. And cirrhosis and angina and all the rest. You need specialist care? Emily gives me all the care I need. But you were prepared to let her get arrested. For what? Possession of heroin. 
Anyone could see that wasn't real heroin. The dealers weren't so dumb in my day. My mum never calls me. She never takes my calls. And I thought it was just my dad being stubborn, but the way Sean told me to shut up and... When was the last time you spoke to her? The day I went to the police about my dad. Oh, Neve. What if I never see her again? It can't be that bad. You don't understand. Where I come from, people hold grudges forever. Okay, okay. Neve. You need to talk to Sean and you need to get the facts, otherwise you're going to drive yourself crazy. Leon, it's your lucky day. It turns out that your heroin was, in actual fact, caffeine powder. What? No way. That stuff was real. I didn't sell rubbish. So you're saying you were selling real heroin? Yeah. I didn't cheat people. Right, well, I'll have to charge you with supplying a Class A drug. Huh? And with your record... Uh, OK, yeah, it was fake. Leon, can I give you a piece of advice? Depends. You've been charged three times, you are a terrible liar, and you don't know the difference between heroin and coffee. That wasn't my fault. Don't you think it's time that you considered a new line of work? I've been so... scared lately. Ever since you went away, I felt like I was spiralling out of control. You never lose control, darling. My judgment's all over the place. I have messed up with Sid. Don't know what I was thinking with Michael. I started wondering if I was losing my mind. Mm. So did I. I don't know what I'd do without you. The best thing that's ever happened to me. Can I have that writing? No. I don't say this enough, but... I do love you, Daniel Grange. Very. Sorry for messing things up. You'll get it right next time. I'd rather there wasn't a next time. Ignoring. You do know that she's using you. Why shouldn't she? Because you'll end up inside. Do you know what it's like for her? Doctors won't touch her. Drug clinics can't deal with people her age. Care homes won't look after her. No one cares about people like her. And even if they did, they don't have the money. There are organisations that could help. I could do some phoning around. Why aren't you the Boy Scout? He's trying to help you. Like you were. All you lot want to do is bang me up. Emily's the only one who cares. Uh, if you need a GP, I'd be happy to take you on. Why? Well, because you need treatment. Your cirrhosis is severe, your hepatitis C, your angina, your memory. It's all severe. You think I don't know that? Let him help you. No. Why not? Because people like him are always more trouble than they're worth. Mrs Whiting, you're very ill. Listen, Sonny. When I first started using, my life expectancy was 15 years. And I'm still here. With no help from smarmy gits like you. Just in case. Tell me to shush, and then you walk out of the room, pretend like I don't even exist. Mum doesn't know I'm here. What? I couldn't tell her I was coming to see you. I couldn't. I'm your sister. She said if any of us spoke to you again, she'd cut us off. She doesn't say your name. No one does. Not since the day you left. 
Not even Michael? Because he'd be in prison if I hadn't... No one dares mention you. <laughs> Mum's taken your pictures out of frames, ripped you out of albums. <laughs> Everything that reminded her of you is gone. I'm sorry. Can't be that bad. It is. Well, things are never as bad as they seem, you know. What about Auntie Mary? Auntie Mary? Her and Mum didn't speak for five years and then one day, poof, everything was fine again. So... It's not the same, Neve. It's just what our family are like, you know. I've just got to wait it out. And I will. We both will. So, you need to give your sister a hug and stop worrying so much, OK? Come here. My clothes are sweaty. I'll take them off. Well, oh, never mind that. Is this a vision I see before me? Granddad. We ought to go in the pool together, show the young ones how it's done. But has he said anything about me and, and the menopause? Come on, let the dog see the rabbit. I look like a black bin bag. Rubbish. Exactly. Next on BBC 